So, Grinch, thanks for coming in and talk about pre-planning. What do you have in mind? Well, I don't think anybody really likes me anymore, and nobody worries about me anymore, nobody even remembers me. No. So I just want to be cremated. Why, Grinch, that isn't really true. What about Cindy Lou Who, who's now more than two? Oh, she Cindy helped Lou. you grow out of your old self mm -hmm. to enjoy Christmas from time to time. She did and help my heart grow three sizes that day. And what about your longtime crush, Martha May Huvier? Ooh, Martha May. And Max, don't forget about your loyal friend Max and all those people in Whoville who <sighs> witnessed your transformation on Christmas Day. What would they say? You know, Grinch, you've got more friends than you realize. Shouldn't they have an opportunity to say goodbye? Do you really think they all care about me that much? Yes. Hmm. Well, I certainly wouldn't think that it would be bothersome for them to come and say goodbye to their newfound old friend. Well, huh. They would want to celebrate the good things about you, Grinch. Like, like well, what? Like how you saved Cindy Lou Who from the package crushing oh. machine at the post office? Uh, yep, remember I remember that, that day. Yeah. Max used my backside as a chew yes. toy. And how you saved all the presents from falling off Mount Crumpet mm -hmm. and after you realized that, the meaning of Christmas. I did how to take all the packages to the tip top of Mount Crumpet to dump it. But that's where I finally realized that I heard them singing below. My heart grew three sizes. You know? Hmm. They would want to celebrate how you brought back the presents hmm. that bright Christmas morning. And how at dinner you carved the beast. The roast beast. That was delicious. Oh, fabulous roast beast. So what you're telling me is that Funerals aren't all about sadness and strife. Not at all. Grinch, you've got a lot of friends. And think about all of those movies that people watch year after year. Mm. You now have millions of friends and fans. Yes. What about them? So as you say, it's not about sadness and strife, but it's all about celebrating a wonderful life. Absolutely. Now you've got it. Hmm. So I guess maybe I should have a funeral of some sort. And I probably should get it all written up ahead of time and pre-planned so the best way. little old Cindy Lou, uh, so Cindy Lou Who doesn't have to worry her pretty little head. And you can take care of that, you say? Yes, we can. We can. We can tell you about the five benefits to having a funeral plan in place. What are those? What, all five of them? Yeah. There's a cost benefit. Huh. There's the peace of mind of having it done. Huh. Your plan is fully transferable. Oh. And it's not like life insurance where you pay until the day you die. With pre-planning, you pay for a designated amount of years that you get mm. to pick. Cool. I get to pick it. You, you get, to pick, get it. to pick it. And lastly, if you should die before those payments are fulfilled, uh -huh. the pre-plan will take care of up to 100% of the unpaid balance. What Ooh. about those benefits? That sounds like a bargain. Yes. A real bargain. I'm not really in a hurry to kick the bucket or anything, That's but just okay. in case. That's okay. Hmm. Okay, let's write it up. You know what we can say to the Grinch? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh.